हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरीन इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस इज नरेटर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी गॉन टॉक अबाउट व्हाट आर द कंपोनेंट इन अ गैस इंजेक्शन इंजन इन टुडे वीडियो आई एम गोन एक्सप्लेन थ्रू दिस डायग्राम दैट व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट कंपोनेंट इन अ गैस इंजेक्शन इंजन एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल सी दैट हाउ द फ्यूल वाल्व is basically getting actuated what do we mean by window injection valve what do we mean by gas injection valve and what are the different pipelines which is passing through the injector for what purposes after that we will see that what do i mean by add on feature of gas engine and after that through this diagram i will see that how this add on feature of a gas injection engine works and after that we will see through this megi engine that what are different mode in which this gas engine is operating that is gas mode hdf mode and fuel oil mode and through this diagram we will see that how this is happening so this video is going to be very interesting so please remain tuned till last i guarantee that you will learn a lot before beginning the video I want to request all of you those who are new to this channel please do subscribe and this is our channel in which we make video regarding the marine engineering from basic to advanced level if you want to cover particular topic you can go to the playlist and you can see the thing so let's start the video of today what are the component of a gas injection engine basically in today examinations they are very very much asking that what are the different component of gas injection engine so the component are such as gas fuel injection valve pilot valve window valve window injection valve and sealing oil so let's see this diagram is basically here as you can see this is the gas injection valve okay and this is the ELWI which is called electronic window injection valve and this is ELGI which is called electronic gas injection valve and here as you can see this is the different pipeline which is going for different purpose so let's see one by one what are the different pipeline the red one is basically indicating the hydraulic oil the sorry the red one is indicating the sealing oil the blue one is indicating the hydraulic oil and the light blue is basically the oil drain and the white one is basically the gas injection so let's see the sectional diagram here it will be much more clear as you can see this is the blue one which is basically indicating the hydraulic oil and this is basically the sealing oil and this one is basically showing the gas leak detection and this yellow line is basically the inlet of a gas injection so this diagram as you can see here that gas is coming from here and it is wetting here okay now when this thing this hydraulic oil is going to come and this part this part is going to be lifted against the spring so when the hydraulic oil will come and this is going to be lifted against the spring at that time the gas which is been wetting here will get a passage and will be injected into the combustion space now this sealing oil what is the purpose of sealing oil if in the examination they ask you that what is the purpose of sealing oil so basically the answer should be that sealing oil is basically provided in a pressure more than please emphasis on that it is basically provided in a pressure more than that of a hydraulic oil pressure so basically suppose if the hydraulic oil pressure is 200 or 250 bar then the sealing oil pressure will be around 300 to 325 five bar that means that the sealing oil pressure is around 25 to 50 bar more than that of the hydraulic oil pressure why it is done this is been done to prevent the contamination of a hydraulic oil and the gas okay for that reason the sealing oil is provided now the second question which is basically asked is about the gas leak direction why it is been provided it is been provided 
that when there is no injection when there is no injection taking place and if still the gas is leaking in that case it will be detected and an alarm will be sounded and the whole system will be isolated so as you can see this is the basically the blue one is the hydraulic oil and this red one is the sealing oil and this is the drain and this white one is the gas detection and here basically what is happening the gas is coming here and waiting so this is how and this is the combustion space okay so basically this is a gas injection engine means here the gas which has been waiting is waiting at a pressure of around 225 to 275 bar and when it has been lifted it is finding its way to the combustion space this is the combustion space okay now the second thing which is the now the ME engine the ME engine which has been installed in most of our ships is now can be fitted with the gas engine to make the engine more efficient so basically how it is impossible so as you know the ME, ME engine consists of a certain component what are the component the component are like EICU ECU CCU and ACU and MOP so these five things are the main control center of a ME engine so this system along with the FIBA and a fuel oil injection what is FIBA fuel injection valve actuation so along with this is a completely independent ME engine system is is a completely independent ME engine system now if you want to add gas injection then we have provided here a separate control system a separate control system means it has its own ACU PCU PSU and CSU means it has got its own independent control system through which the gas injection is taking place and therefore it is called add on features so if they ask you that what are the property of a gas engine so you can say that a gas engine can be act like a add on feature on a ME engine how so you can say that it has got its own completely control and safety system and basically if any problem please if please uh, concentrate here that if it got any problem it can be completely isolated from the ME engine system okay so it can be completely isolated from a ME engine system and the ME engine system will work as normal it was working before as if there is no gas injection was there okay so basically what is happening this gas injection has got its own control and safety system so let's see what are the system I think you know this if you don't know this about what the function of EICU ACU CCU ECU then you can watch my video I've already made the video regarding the function of that and now let's see what are the different things mentioned here SPCU this means second fuel plant control unit ACU means fuel auxiliary control unit fuel plant safety unit and fuel cylinder safety unit so basically what here I mean to say that it has got its own safety and control system based on which the gas injection is taking place now how this this is working in which sequence it will be uploaded in a next video now the third question of the today video that what are the different mode in which this gas engine gonna work so basically this gas engine has got three mode okay if they ask you the question that what are the different mode in which the MEGI engine can work then your answer should be that it work in a three different mode what are the three different mode the first mode is a gas mode the second mode is a specified dual fuel op operation mode and third mode is a fuel oil mode so basically what do I mean by that so let me explain one by one so basically first let's see what is a gas mode okay so let's come to a diagram here so as you can see here this is a gas valve and this is a pilot valve so what is happening basically what is happening when the piston is coming at the TDC and the air is been compressed at a temperature at that time this pilot fuel is getting injected 
when the pilot fuel is getting injected it is creating a temperature which is suitable for this gas when it has been injected to ignite so why we need this pilot fuel we need this pilot fuel because the gas fuel have a auto ignition temperature slightly higher which cannot be achieved by the compression for that we are injecting the pilot fuel by which what we are happening we are creating a atmosphere temperature which is sufficient enough for this gas to ignite okay for that reason we need a small amount of pilot fuel so when this gas is injecting this is a primary fuel only a small amount of pilot fuel is needed for that reason this mode is called gas mode okay this mode is called gas mode here as you can see what is happening a small amount of fuel oil we need and a large amount of gas we are using the second mode is a specified dual fuel operation mode what is happening here actually the specific amount of gas and specific amount of fuel is injecting so what do i mean by that so what is happening here a specified amount of gas and a specified amount of fuel oil is been injected and a third mode is that in which only this fuel oil is been injected and this gas is not been injected so as you can see in this diagram there is two injection mode one is a fuel oil injection mode and one is the gas injection mode so in this two injection mode we can come out with the three different solution first solution is a gas injection where the gas is acting as a primary fuel and only a small amount of pilot fuel we need for helping the gas injection the second mode is only fuel oil injection mode in which only fuel oil is been injected and if there is any problem in the gas injection system this system is completely been shut down and third mode is that where a specified amount of gas and a specified amount of fuel oil both is been injected so as you can see in this diagram this is the gas mode where the maximum amount is a gas and a small amount is a pilot fuel the second mode is called specified dual fuel mode in which a specific amount of is gas and a specific amount is about of fuel and that is called specific dual fuel operation and third is the fuel oil only mode okay so basically i hope now these three things that what are different mode of operation what do i mean by add on feature and what are how this fuel oil injection valve work so i hope these things are clear if you still got doubt please do comment i will reply back and if you want to know about the gas engine you can go to the play section which you can found in my description box and if you want to know more so please do go to the playlist and you can find the different topic where you can learn more and please friend this type of channel is very rare and therefore we need our encourage encouragement so please do encourage us please subscribe please share and please if you find something interesting and you have learned if you have got something so please do your contribution please subscribe what i am seeing here is that most of you watching the videos you are getting what your knowledge but you please i want to make you know that a lot of amount of effort and thing is going here a lot of retake we have to take so please encourage us and please do subscribe Thank you friend have a good day